Hey, morning, morning. Just giving a couple of minutes. I'm also recording on my dot. Yeah, live. Um, just a quick one. Whether you're catching this on replay or not, if you could, I'll put the other camera right next to it. If you could, um, just type under it, click hashtag replay or whatever, just so I know. Um, just so I know if you've seen it or not. Um, so, those of you who don't know me, um, I am Lucy B, and I, um, <clears throat> apart from, I started off being, doing healing and, um, helping people sort of with trauma and uh, trauma informed healing. So, um, from a very traumatic space, we can, you know, we can create a lot of stuff in our lives. We can call in stuff into our lives. It's awful, uh, quite frankly. Um, and so, but when we do that with, um, understanding the, the trauma being trauma informed, it's incredibly, uh, incredibly incredible. Um, and so now I kind of, um, I do a lot of group work and I do a lot of one-to-one -one work, helping people, um, move past where they're at. And I've created something really cool, um, um, where we don't have to heal everything. So we don't have to actually think, oh my God, always be broken, always not be good enough. Um, so I'm going to actually use that process with you over the next few days. Um, next couple of days. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So day one detox. <sighs> right. Why would you want a relationship detox? Um, and what the heck is it? I'll really, really quickly do that. So say hi to me if you're there. Um, it doesn't always tell me on the live who's here and who's not. I know some of you already said you're coming and you're catching up later. So that's great. Let me know you've caught up. Um, but why do a detox? Well, because uh, firstly, um, you can have a build it's like anything, right? Why would you do any detox? Um, you can have a real build up of um negative shit um <clears throat> to do with a relationship and actually old shit that isn't even relevant anymore so you could have um you know I, sp I have a lot of my clients have really really um traumatic um old relationships um with with generally with men because a lot of my clients are women but um generally people have uh, they come to me because they are living in this horrible state because of um they they maybe have kids with their ex or they have generally got this this kind of lingering thing um with you know if you had abusive exes or you know they have to they still see them um and they kind of have they feel like they feel like they're almost still under this the the spell or the pressure of of it and it actually leaves a mark now a little side slant especially um when you've been in any abusive relationship or any kind of highly stressful situation it doesn't even need to be an abusive relationship but if you have been in a, a like a real permanent state of stress you've got this little thing in your brain not a little thing it's an incredibly important thing called the hippocampus i'm not going to go into it too much but you might have heard of it um and it's what regulates our emotions um and our met our short our, our sort of immediate memories now what happens when you're in high stress and you're in, and you're being abu abusive and especially if you're having people tell you your truth isn't right and things what your brain does is very clever and it goes oh I know what we're going to do. We don't want to remember all that. We don't want to remember all the bad things. It's too painful. It's too much. It's my brain will implode. So they make the they make the hippocampus. You're, you're so you literally your body makes it smaller. It reduces the size of the hippocampus. Now that's great when you're in it because actually, what it's trying to do is is, is not give you so much pain, right? The the problem is that then you don't always remember all the bad things. You don't actually remember things, um, and so that's how you can actually get into this toxic pattern because not only do you not remember things that people say exactly so you can't people say what did I do then what did I do that was so bad and you're like ah mm -hmm. um I, uh, I don't really know I don't really know what I did that was so bad um I don't know what you did I, I, I'm oh uh, I don't I can't say you know the feeling and the emotion are there but you you can't remember all of it that's that's because the hippocampus has shrunk <laughs> well one of them um one of the reasons and also um yeah so it, it can it can really cut and so then you will be you happy but you also forget how bad it really was you know the feeling but you, you can't kind of connect it so that's what can keep you stuck in kind of vicious cycles oh, hang on my phone going off in vicious cycles right so detoxing is incredibly important because we we need to actually really clear 
clear the way um of toxic relationships and um because some of it especially if you um are somebody who works on yourself you maybe you read some really cool books maybe you you flush out some beliefs um you kind of you're always looking to be the happiest best version of yourself is that is that somebody you are or then you might be actually living um with old beliefs with old stuff that you're tied to that just isn't relevant anymore so what can happen and then you get what's called um what's called cognitive dissonance is that you're living and speaking one way but your beliefs are something else and if you are still clinging on to or you still if you've got lingering beliefs that are there that actually aren't with you anymore that can make you feel really icky as well so a detox is great for that and it isn't just for relationships with exes it's relationships with your kids relationships with your body relationships with money you know um so and what you might think is actually a really you know i've got a really awful relationship with my partner or my kids or my mum, or it, it might actually be a relationship with something else now ultimately they're always a relationship with ourselves but i can you know i recently watched this twin have you ever seen this twin flames universe thing <laughs> And and the thing that they you know, they used actually to be quite um, abusive in their coaching was to say it's all you, it's all a mirror. Now technically they're right, but you can't always go and just think you know and just say well yes I am creating my world, but actually I need to understand what's going on and what I'm creating and why and why that person or that thing is affecting me. You know it's, yes it isn't and everything is internal because we literally create the the universe we see from our internal state but we also have to appreciate that yeah i might have called that person in but i need to understand why i need to understand what's going on and um it doesn't mean that what they do is okay just because i've created them and i've called them in it doesn't make it okay but there's something to be learned so um anyway right so a detox the first thing the very first thing is what is it who is it what is the actual problem right so to do this and it might seem well yeah i've got somebody being an idiot to me my boss is a nightmare i keep eating chocolate biscuits it might be one second guys guys can you stop right now both of you i'm i'm one second no no max you've got to stay downstairs i'm working can you go downstairs dude okay so um the joys so um first thing to do yeah so it, just because you think you've got yeah so you need to get very clear on what is actually up what the problem currently is what you're currently having an issue with and like i said it might seem like it's obvious but let's see if we can get a little bit a little bit deeper into that so big deep breaths so what i'd like you to do is breathe in through your nose pause at the top and then breathe out and focus on the out breath you'll naturally breathe in or being well <laughs> so breathe into your nose pause at the top and breathe out if you want to make a noise you can do that as well if you want to um or make a make a really soothing vibration within your body that's amazing too okay now um i always just do a bit of tapping if you're a tapper i just do a tap because that can bring the emotions around so breathing in okay so what's actually up what's actually the problem is it that you just that actually this person is causing you a nightmare so what's going on for you and um i've got a couple of little sheets you can sign so i'll get a bit of pen and paper if you haven't got it now go get it or pause it if you're catching up so what is it that's this what's your beef at the moment what's the problem or who is it and be very specific because we really want to tune in to the to, to what's going on and this is what we're going to do today is just really tune into the who deep breath right and just tapping here I'm, um I, well, I, I can show you all the tapping points but that's not what we're doing to so just tapping here and if you know the tapping points feel free to tap through them but what is the problem is it that your ex is being a nightmare is it that um you just don't fit into your genes is that the problem whatever the problem is whatever you're seeing is the problem and i would invite you to write it down if you can tell me here fantastic 
if you don't want to type it in here, it's a very small group here. So if you want to type it or can, if you want to message me and tell me what is the problem? What is it you are currently experiencing that has brought you here to watch this video today or to watch this live today? What is the problem? Okay, write it down. Um, so is it that, yeah, is it just like that you're, you just like, you can't seem to hold on to money? Is it that you've got your partner and you are arguing all the time? Is it that you're, um, you can't lose weight? I've done a lot of weight release for people, but yeah, okay. Okay, so. Okay. So take a big deep breath in. What's my problem? My children are shouting at each other when I'm working. <laughs> I have to pause this a minute. Okay, so what first um little thing I'd like to just tell you before we go any further, before you do any more work, right? Before you do any more of anything, the biggest thing. Okay, so first thing you need to do is um what we tend to do when we start finding out a bit more about why we do things and why we why we've got things in our life is we can go go, oh God, I'm so terrible. So blame, shame, fault, finger pointing, criticism, that needs to stop now. Like 100%, you cannot, well, they do this or well, no wonder because I'm such an idiot. Um, all of this finger pointing, blaming yourself, guilt tripping yourself, feeling bad about a thing, thinking that, well, I don't deserve any better. Um, saying, well, God, look what I'm doing to my family. I mean, like you can do all of that. You can feel all the guilt, all the blame. You can, you can sh be sh ashamed. Oh my goodness. And what can happen when you realize that maybe some of the behaviors that you are doing, you think, oh my God, I'm doing that. Oh my God. I don't, f don't get me wrong. I have gone, gone through, oh my Lord. Oh, that's me. Ah, I, oh my God, I just created this. And you can go into a spiral of feeling very bad. And being ashamed of what you've done or what you think or what you, you know, gosh. And the more honest you are with the true internal workings of what you do, probably the more opportunity you've got to feel really like, oh, God, that's horrible. I don't want to have that thought. But the, the problem with that is the more you, you are ashamed of your own thoughts, of your own feelings, of your own behaviors, of your own past, the less you, can, you are able to even think about moving past it. OK, so right here, right here, right now, we need to eliminate blame and shame. I've done a little video on blame and shame, which I probably will share with the group. If I don't, please remind me because, you know, squirrel brain. So um, that's not an insult. I get very easily distracted. Ask anyone. I go, <laughs> like, I, I get very easily um, onto tangents. And that's the beauty of working with me is you, you get a whole lot of... Uh, um, you get a huge amount of um, awesomeness. Anyway, so first, so let recap. Deep breath. What is the problem? What is the actual problem? Get very clear on that. Eliminate finger pointing. Just even for this exercise. Well, they're an idiot. They're a knobhead. Well, they are narcissistic. Well, they are trying to make my life hell. Okay, cool. So whatever it may be, but get really specific, really specific about what it is. Eliminate, eliminate if you can, self-blame and shame. And where you're saying, well, they're doing that, saying, I am experiencing this. I am experiencing a lot of hostility from this person. Okay, cool. If you can do that, then what's happening is it's not so loaded. Because if it's somebody else doing something to you, if someone else is being mean to you, you are not, you've got no power, no power. You can't do anything with that because it's there doing it to you and you are a victim. And that's not meaning to be mean. That's meaning that you are then the victim in your life. And that's a shitty place to be. However, if you're finding that you're ha that's happening a lot and you are becoming, they're doing it to me, I would literally ask the question, why do I want to be the victim? Why do I want to be powerless? Why is it safe for me to have no power? Because that, that is incredible. And I remember I asked that to myself when I felt done to a lot. 
and actually when you're done to it stops you doing and because doing is newness and doing is scary if you're being done to you don't actually need to put yourself out there you don't actually have any power therefore nothing is your fault and if you feel like you're criticizing yourself and you're blaming yourself and you've got a lot of the downpour and you've always always been your fault if you are then a victim it can't be your fault so there's so many reasons why and like i say even when you go oh my god i'm being such a victim that's okay like don't don't chastise yourself it everything is absolutely okay and the more you look at this from a different angle the more you have opportunity to really hate on yourself and that's not going to help so please please at every opportunity you look at yourself and go oh what an idiot oh i'm such a victim don't like be nice to yourself please because you deserve that everybody does and whatever you have done and every every thought you've ever had does not mean you don't deserve that okay you know, there's little versions of you we don't want to lock them away we want to want to want to give them hugs all the all the all the shadowy versions of you just need hugs man like you know if you saw a little a little kid right in the corner crying hating on themselves would you go yeah let's just keep you locked up because you've been bad no you go oh my god you poor little thing and give them a hug that's what you need that's what you need too so give yourself some hugs right okay so the detox back to the detox so uh, we are deep breath getting clear on what the problem is okay eliminating blame shame criticism so where where we're like oh I don't have any money. Okay, so I'm experiencing, I'm experiencing a lack of money. I'm experiencing a real drying up of my bank accounts. Okay, um, I'm experiencing excess weight. I'm so fat, I can't lose weight. I'm experiencing excess weight. If you can do that, then we take one step away from, oh, it's done to me and into, okay, this is an experience. Okay, right, that's amazing. Now, this is what you're experiencing. So right, please write it down because it's really important. Now, this now, rather than this being the problem, this is the symptom. Whatever your experience is, is simply a symptom of the problem. Let me give you an analogy because I don't know individually what everyone's going to have. Well, let me give you an analogy. So if you've got a problem and your problem is a headache, that's my problem. My problem is I have a headache. No, your symptom of a problem is the headache. I am skint. That's my, my problem is I have no money. No, your symptom is you have no money. The problem is that you, um, the problem will be that you're not getting productive in your business, that you are overspending, that you um, have lost your job. That's not the problem. The problem, we, we often, because we've been raised and we've been programmed this way by going to the doctors and saying, here we go, I've got a sore tummy. Okay, let me treat the sore tummy. Let's not find out what the sore tummy is about, but let me just treat the sore tummy. Even when you broke, you've broken your leg, you go to the A&E, they treat the symptom they're treating the broken leg. Yeah, that's fine. But why did it break? Well, I fell off. No, but why? Why your leg? So we're always, we are conditioned to treating symptoms. And therein is the problem. Okay. So what we need to do is go, okay, so what's actually the problem? So my experience is that I'm having a headache. But why? So this is where I, I say, if you've ever worked with me, like in courses, it's like get annoying toddler on your ass. But why? Why am I experiencing this? Let's flush this out. Okay. Okay. So the let's go to so then the money one. Uh, okay. So because I've got a crazy ex, my, my ex is a problem. No, my the experience. I'm experiencing a hostility from my ex. Okay. So what's causing that? And don't just say well. <laughs> <laughs> I got married him. <laughs> Say okay. So what? What's the what's the root cause of the problem? Really, go go one step back, one step before. What's creating this? What is creating this? Okay. Oh, I'm just so fat. Okay. Well, that's a symptom of something. What's causing that? Now, when it comes to weight, and when it comes to things that a bit, you know, um, this is hugely emotional. Is it that you are simply overeating? Is it that you just can't move your body? Is it that um, 
is it that actually you are it's safer for you to be overweight so this is i mean when it comes to weight there's there's a whole nother caveat and things like that so um if you can share with me even if the kind of thing that you are um working with then let me know listen also let me just say that my whatsapp my messenger for anybody doing this detox is open so yes i usually um I it's not something I let everybody just come into my inbox but if you're in this detox I have a professional and responsibility to you as well as um as well as a just a responsibility that I feel universal responsibility if I'm helping you clear stuff then I'm also here to help you if anything comes up and I'm not around so message me um I've given my whatsapp in the email if you need my whatsapp if you want my my number literally message me and I will give it to you so if you need support through any of this if stuff is coming up share in this group but also please get in touch don't do this on your own don't feel you haven't got support because for this week you've got me okay that's the deal when I come and do any of these things I am all in so you need anything you message me and I will I will literally behave like we are in a we are in a coaching sort of contract if you like so for this whole week i'm yours so use me utilize me ask me questions get my help i'm pretty really freaking good at this stuff okay so use me this week um okay so it's it's looking at the the, the initial problem okay so um if it's wait if it's exit if it's if okay so if it is you're arguing with your partner all the time right now you're arguing with your partner that is a symptom so i experience a lot of arguing what is it though what are you are what is it though is it that actually he's a fucking nightmare i feel so much resentment i feel so angry that he doesn't understand me i feel so annoyed that he doesn't care about me anymore huh so that's the problem the argument is a symptom the argument is a symptom of an internal conf conflict, of internal unhappiness and something that you're not sharing and you're not allowing to come out because maybe you feel a bit pathetic. He never buys me flowers. And it's really pissing me off. So when he comes home and he talks about his own work, you know, you can see, well, yeah, what about me? I don't feel like I'm cared about. That's the problem. Not I'm having an argument. Oh my god, he leaves the fucking washing up like top piled high with like five bits of food in it, so I have to scrape the fucking plate. <laughs> no, he could just do that and then he could wash it up himself, but no, you know, like the amount of things that the, the ranting and, and all these things can happen. Kids, oh my god, they're just little, oh my god, are they like schizophrenic? What's wrong with them? Because they just, I ask them, they don't do anything. Okay, so. The experience you're having is your kids are just not just doing, literally being wild. Now, if you're a home ed mum, <laughs> you, you generally have feral kids, but right, they don't do anything. Oh, oh my God. Okay, but the problem isn't them not doing anything. The problem is you feel how you're feeling about it and your lack of control over your children, right? And this is when not blaming and shaming, not feeling bad about it, just, just seeing, you know, observing yourself with, with this experience and the initial problem now this is enough for today because i'm going to come back tomorrow at 10 okay so i'd love it if for this detox take a big deep breath what's the problem what is it who is it what is the problem change that to this is actually my symptom and then go back a, go back a step okay and then i would invite you to move your body either tap Okay, and I would love it if you could just say, I accept myself for all that I am. I am enough. I am worthy. I accept myself for all that I am, for all these feelings that I have. Even though I am a reactive, angry person sometimes, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though, even though I feel like a friggin' mess, I love and accept myself anyway. It go into mass acceptance, clear it out. Okay. And I did this the other day with somebody. So really quickly, what I would love for you now is that any, if you can just have a little scan of yourself breathing in and out. If you can just almost like actually just say, any, for any ties that are not mine, I release. Any attachments that I'm holding on to that are not serving me, I release. 
literally wipe down. If you can get your hands on your skin, somatic therapy. So you can tap, you can, I, will, I choose to release all ties, any ties and beliefs that are not mine or are no longer serving me. <sighs> literally brush them and out the window. We are energetic beings, right? So whilst I'm very practical with what we can do, I'm massively woo-woo. So woo-woo is fantastic because it don't, we, we need to understand we are just atoms and molecules. Actually, it's very scientific. Woo-woo is actually science. Um, it's just it's just like so, it's science has gone so the other, like it's so, so scientific that it's become woo-woo. But science and, and spirituality are like this. Uh, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, it's, 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 that's where woo-woo comes from. Anyway so um but all you can do is just we'll do a tie cutting exercise um another time as well so all attachments everything that i'm making all of this mean i would choose to i release all ties that are not mine okay and that's good that's it for day one so um what's the problem who's the problem no more blaming, no more shame, no more blame, no more pointing fingers, no more criticism. It's an experience. Choose to have, look at everything that's coming to you as an experience. Even though oh, I'm so ill. No, I'm experiencing sick, sick symptoms. I'm experiencing symptoms of illness. I'm experiencing horrible, you know, and get into that because you are, and this is just an experience. Not just, this is an experience. And you know what? On some level, you've chosen it. And again, I'm really careful when I say that because that can be really triggery because I didn't want this on some level, on some level, not conscious, you know, on some level, at some point, this will serve you. And the sooner, the sooner you can get out of, I didn't choose, I don't want this, as you can get out of that and, and embracing even all the cacophony of shit that can rain down, if we can see it as as part of our experience rather than it's all oh, oh, my life is just imploding okay so you're experiencing this huge pressure this huge vast vortex of lack this huge you know it, it's incredible but when you look back on your life and you go whoa i learned a lot from that or no that keeps happening what am i not learning right what am i not getting and I'm, I'm the same. We are, you know, nobody, if somebody sits here and says you, I'm fully healed, I experience no ill feeling, I am the master of Zen, wonderful, right? But most people on this planet, in this three-dimensional planet, because we have the 5D and we have the 3D, we are currently in an experience and we've chosen to be who we're meant to feel the hard things. We're not meant to pretend they're not happening. We've chosen to feel that. We've chosen to experience it. But we are actually beings of love, light, and utter abundance. So you have that within you. You have that possibility. And when we can get rid of all of this shit that we're experiencing and that we're holding on to and that we're kind of like resentful, we will experience a better way. So, with lo so much love. This really excites me doing this. So um, if you do that, if you could share either in the group, like I say, it's quite a small group, or if you could share with me in an email or in a message, that would be great because it will help me direct um, or have kind of examples or have an idea of where you are at so that I can help in the best way in these next three days. So we're going to be together today, tomorrow at 10 and Thursday at 10 um here live in the group and then we're going to have a little bit of one i think we're going to do it on next monday evening i'm going to have a little zoom get together to see how everyone is and you know all the and just break down what's been going on um if you feel anyone else in your network of people would benefit from what i'm doing this week please invite them because um it could really help them especially coming up to christmas um it's a really tough time for some people and if we can actually release a lot of the pent-up toxicity um we can it, you know it can really really help um to have actually quite a nice time anyway 
Big deep breaths. Another two breaths, two more breaths. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Thank you.